Round two of the ANZ Championship got underway in Christchurch with the Tactics meeting traditional rivals, the Steel. The home side showed impressive early signs with the scores level at 36 all at the half. However, a dominating third quarter by the Steel, led by Jamaican star Janelle Fowler, had the visitors leading by 10 goals heading into the final stanza. Fowler continued to be unstoppable in the last quarter, taking her match total to 65 goals, giving her side a 75-56 victory. A Sunday netball triple header started in Melbourne with the Vixens taking on arch rivals the Adelaide Thunderbirds. The Vixens burst out of the blocks, jumping to a 17-12 quarter time lead. The Thunderbirds fell further behind in the second, with the Vixens taking the quarter by three to lead 29-21 at half time. The Vixens extended their lead to 10 goals at the final change and another four goal win in the last quarter saw the home side claim a 58-44 win. The Fever totally outgunned the Mystics 23-13 in the first period, setting up a match winning lead. As hard as the Mystics tried to bridge the gap, they had no answer to the Fever shooting duo of Catherine Cox and Caitlin Bassett. Bassett netted a career-high 62 goals from 70 attempts, helping her side to an 80-53 victory. Defending champions Waikato Bay of Plenty Magic were in Tauranga against the Swifts, rounding out Sunday night netball. The Magic were in control from the opening pass, getting out to an 18-5 quarter time lead. The Swifts threw everything at the Magic, but were unable to stem the flow of the home side who put on a clinical performance. The Magic won every quarter and were helped by the impressive Irene Van Dyke who netted 32 of her 33 shots at goal, lifting her side to a 61-35 win. The round closed out in Porirua with the Pulse taking on the 2011 champions, the Queensland Firebirds. The home side hit their straps early in the first quarter, taking a 14-11 lead to the break. The Firebirds were down by as much as seven goals in the second quarter, but scrapped their way back to trail by just four, heading into half-time. The Queenslanders imposed themselves on the match in the third, with a 17-11 scoreline, led by Natalie Medhurst with 10 from 11 for the period. The home side couldn't bridge the gap in the final 15 minutes, and the Firebirds ran out winners 58-56 to remain undefeated in 2013. So that's round two done and dusted with a familiar look at the top of the table. The Magic, Vixens and Firebirds remaining the only undefeated sides.